Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's just do a general collective read uh, and we'll see what messages come through for us today. Uh, cards are shuffled. I'm going to just jump right in. Uh, we have an Eight of Wand. Queen of Cups. Four of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles. Lovers. Five of Cups. Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone wants to move towards this Queen of Cups. Uh, not necessarily um, male or female, uh, but definite movement towards this Queen of Cups. This person wants some sort of harmony in their life, um, and it's, it's time for this. It's time for a new beginning. It's a very big turning point. Uh, this Wheel of Fortune is turning uh, in your favor. There's something about releasing the past. Uh, releasing regrets, no longer focusing on, um, yeah, the disappointments of the past. Uh, instead of focusing on what's missing, focusing on what's meant to be. What's what's um, what's yeah meant to be is what I'm getting here. Like finding finding treasure here. There's something about treasuring treasuring life treasuring all of life's experiences um, and not being afraid to pursue the good things in life. Like there's something about, I'm drawn to this five of cup energy. There's something about uh, instead of focusing on what went wrong, let's focus on uh, what's going to go right here. Uh, this is about making new choices, heading in. Someone wants to head in this Queen of Cups direction. Now, this Queen of Cups may be, um, I feel like this Queen of Cups is, is more of an energy. I mean, yes, this Queen of Cups could be a person, male or female, but I'm feeling like it's an energy. Like, yes, like salute, like cheers to life cheers to emotional fulfillment cheers to union cheers to you know the castle on the hill here you know creating creating your home environment uh communicating well communicating your wants communicating your needs also like communicating with the universe what are your wants what are your needs what are you focusing on uh, let's focus on looking forward here. This Ace of Pentacle energy. It's like there's a, a blessing here uh, that's meant to be. Uh, this lovers, it's like there's something about satisfaction, whether whether that's with uh, in relationship with another person or in relationship with self. You know, you kind of have to be right with yourself before you can attract another person into your world. If you want to share your um, goodness with another, uh, we have to kind of focus on that well-being is what I'm getting. So I feel like there's something about releasing the past, no regrets, um, you know, not being afraid just to head for that wish fulfillment, finding that um, sweet spot is what I'm getting here. What Spirit most wants us to know is that Wheel of Fortune energy here. So things are turning in your favor. Uh, there's going to be a communication, whether it's like you hearing the word of, I'm, I'm hearing like the word of God or whatever, like, like some sort of um, spiritual influence or like it could be you know, your own higher self, hearing your own higher self, your own intuition, your own guidance, or a message from uh, your soulmate, your twin flame. Uh, there's something about a communication here and moving towards uh, wholeness here is what I'm getting. Uh, but let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there's just a blessing waiting to be received here. This blessing has always been here for you. 
uh, whether this is for you and your person joining forces. I mean, we do have lovers, four of wands, uh, this wheel of fortune, these eights. You know, eights are about, you know, that eternal connection. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm looking, I pulled this um, Lemurian Oracle message we'll read in closing, but, but just from the... Um, picture of it it seems like you know trinity energy you me us mind body spirit uh you know like there's some sort of um wholeness here connection uh teamwork you know and i feel like it could be your spiritual team you know if you're single i could see your spiritual team uh guiding you or or a person in your world um, coming in to communicate, to um, tell you they love you, tell you that they feel blessed in your presence. Uh, there's definitely uh, blessings here. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles, let's clarify that Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Sword. Yeah, this message is coming in very quickly. Um, someone is thinking about you. Uh, and if it's not an actual person, it's like your, your ancestors, your spirit guides. Um, in, infusing your mind with your capabilities, showing you, pointing you in the direction of your blessing here. What choices to make here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, big reflection. You know, this, you know, you know, I'm looking at that Trinity here and the Seven of Pentacles is kind of uh, for me like the Trinity, like the past, the present, the future, uh, what has gone before. Uh, and there's a turning point here with the Five of Cups. Five of Cups for me is is a turning point. Uh, and this particular Five of Cups, he's, he's got the treasures. He's got boxes upon boxes of treasure. And he's focusing on what he has, what he's grown. Um, and anything else can be walked away from. Uh, it's a definite turning point. Yeah, Six of Swords is moving forward. We're moving towards, what do they say about the Six of Swords? Moving towards smoother waters. Waters are emotional. It's like finding that sweet spot, finding uh, peace of mind, finding your happiness, your wish fulfillment. What is it you've always wished for, always known that uh, you deserve on some level? It's time to receive it. It's time to let go of the fear and the worry about it also. Sometimes that's easier said than done, but there's something about uh, releasing the fear, giving your fears, your worries, um, to spirit, to your higher self, take a, a, a breath and, you know, give thanks for life's lessons, give thanks for the blessings that, um, you know, the past, present, and future, because uh, there's good things coming here, trust in that, I'm going to pull another one here, three of pentacles, uh, yes, there's something to, there's some, there's people coming into your life here. Another three. It's a trinity. You, me, us, past, present, future, mind, body, spirit, the, the babe, the maiden, the crone. There's growth here. There's teamwork here. There's spinning um, that silk into gold, like turning a uh, turning point, but also turning something mundane into something um, worthy is what I'm getting. Uh, we got the nine of pentacles here. So there's there's growth, there's expansion here, there's confidence in life. Uh, keep moving forward is what I'm getting here. Nine of cups, yeah, so that's that, there's that wish fulfillment, you know, and that eight of cups over there is telling me, you know, eight of cups is heading towards your wish fulfillment. Fear not. Uh, you know, there's something about... Um, feeling the fear and doing it anyways, you know, being courageous, being inspired, um, hearing, hearing, I'm, I'm hearing, hearing the call, which is like the judgment phrase, but it's like there's something about um, appreciating all of life's experiences, you know, the, the, the past, the present, the future, the good, the bad, the indifferent here. There's going to be a celebration here. This Queen of Cups is like um, emotional fulfillment here. King of Pentacles. Yes, like things falling into place. Everything you need, want, desire um, is there for you. Accept it uh, is what I'm getting here. For wand energy, hangman energy. It's like all of the things that you've been thinking about, wanting, desiring, knowing like there's an inner knowing and i feel like you know the wheel is turning in your favor now uh seven of wands uh you know what's interesting when i um 
when I opened, when I took the cards out of the deck here, the um, Whimsical Tarot wanted to join this reading. Uh, I had a jumper card. I had a jumper card from the, I think it was the Magical Forest. Um, and when I was shuffling, I realized, ooh, there's a jumper card. There's a different, um, you know, from, you know, the last time I used this deck. And it was a Seven of Wands. Because always when, always when there's jumper cards for me, it's like, okay, it's meant to come out in the next reading. So there's something about... Uh, the seven of wands keep going even if you come across resistance or someone tells you well you can't do that or you know sometimes it's best to keep our dreams and wishes uh, <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh wow see there's something about sometimes um that's throat chakra when when your throat chakra does that you know it's like there's something about Sometimes what I was trying to say was sometimes it's best to keep quiet about your dreams and wishes because sometimes people try to snatch them away. They try to say, oh, well, you know, they try to instill like, um, you know, doubt. Uh, there's something there's something divine here. So do not do not doubt your divinity. Uh, is what I'm getting here. There's something about emotions here also. This frog, the frog is on that um, jumper card, seven of wand energy. Uh, there's something about, you know, frogs for me represent emotions, watery energy. Uh, something about knowing, there's something you know on an instinctual level. And sometimes it's best to, um, ponder it uh internally um you know there, there you know there are times when you to speak up and there's times when to um keep it to yourself until it's time is what i'm hearing let's pull let's pull cards on that seven of wand here knight of sword yeah we have knight of sword here twice so there's something about your ideas here there's this particular knight of swords he's got a plan he's got an idea he's making uh, he's making a map to his future. He's navigating uh, where he wants to go. He's making a plan. I feel like it's a treasure map he's creating here. And the treasure is there. If the treasure is there for you is what I'm getting. This three of cups. So another three. It's like Trinity. But I do feel like these cards are also saying, be careful who you share your dreams and wishes with. You know, be sure that the people that you share you share with um, have your best interest at heart. Uh, five of sword, yeah, because sometimes people try to, you know, you say, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna write a bestseller, or I'm gonna, you know, um, you know, write a number one song, or I'm gonna, you know, whatever it is that you, your lofty, you know, ideals um, are part of your destiny, a part of your world, a part of your soul path. Um, and sometimes people try to, people don't understand that or they don't comprehend and they try to um, instill um, struggle or instill, uh, like try to, well, people that don't understand you don't, I guess I'm what I'm getting is like that doesn't matter, like it matters what you think, not what anyone else thinks about you like you know you stand stand true in yourself uh regardless of other people's opinions here well, we got five of cup again here so we got the knight of sword twice seven of wands appeared twice five of cups uh, appeared twice definitely a turning point things moving forward i feel like someone's trying to communicate with you let's pull Let's pull some for the night of, ooh, look, seven of wands. So now we have three seven of wands. I feel like maybe you discussed your wishes um, with someone and they were like, ah, no, you're, you know, that's never going to happen. Or, you know, they tried to um, cause doubt in your mind. Uh, just when that happens, just focus on the positive here. Four of Wands, yeah, because this is something you're meant to have. This is your union. This is your dream. Uh, so, so you know you. Keep 
going is what I'm getting here. Let's look at the bottoms of the deck here. We've got two of wand energy and this chariot energy. Wow, you know, it's interesting because I was, you know, two of wands for me is often like an intersection. Like, um, you know, you're on a certain path and you're heading towards uh, the next stage, the next path. Like there's um, an intersection here. This particular chariot, it's like, okay, they're very much at an intersection. A uh, turning point. It's like, okay, there's another path coming up. Uh, there's blessings. There's this new path that's coming um, for up for you uh, is filled with blessings, filled with treasures. Uh, these cards are saying just know that. Know that. Follow the path that's calling you, even if someone is trying to deter you from your destined path is what I'm getting. All right, let's close with this Lemurian Oracle message. We have communication co-creation. We normally think of information as something that can be written or spoken. But if something is multidimensional, it is almost impossible to share it with words. How you are communicating beyond, how are you communicating beyond words? Something may be getting lost in translation. An issue may be cleared through improved communication. Listen carefully to what someone has to say without interruption. Furthermore, it may feel scary to share vulnerable truths, but this may be the only way forward. This card also encourages greater exploration in the realms of telepathy, healing, and the arts such as poetry, painting, and music, where there is a collective communication beyond the mind. Peace be with you. Bye now.